What do toxic relationships and ice cream have in common? Well, they're both topics that come up a lot in The Summer of Bitter and Sweet by Jen Ferguson. This debut novel was nominated for the Morris Award, which is just your first hint that it's a really good book. And I'm about to give you even more reasons why you should check it out. My name is Yona. I'm a librarian at Field Teen Center of the Free Library of Philadelphia and I really enjoyed this book. It's about a teenage girl named Lou, short for Louisa, who's a member of the Métis tribe and is carrying a lot of baggage, like the kind that requires trigger warnings. This book talks a lot about sexual assault and sexual violence, as well as racialized violence, racism, discrimination, harassment, and other generally upsetting topics. So this one is not for the faint of heart, but if you're interested in learning more about these topics or you just like a book that is realistic, hits hard, and will hurt your feelings, this book still has a lot going for it. At the outset of the story, Lou ends a relationship with a boyfriend she was never really interested in kissing and who was super toxic. It's such a powerful moment, but two unfortunate things happen right after. First, he tells her to get out of the car and walk on the highway, which really sets the tone for some of the gnarly things she faces throughout the rest of this book. And two, she's stuck working with him for the rest of the summer. They both work at her family's ice cream shop, where she's spending one final summer before she graduates and moves on to college. Also working with them that summer is King, a black teen who used to be really good friends with her, but left suddenly years ago without explaining himself or telling her why. So there's a lot Lot for the three of them to unpack already, but it gets even harder because Lou's dad is out of jail and back in the picture, or at least would like to be, even though Lou would like nothing to do with him, and he starts making threats against the family business. So that's a lot, but as the title implies, all the bitterness is mediated with a lot of sweetness. First of all, in between the chapters, we get information about the different flavors of ice cream that Lou's family makes, which all use native plants and indigenous recipes that will have your mouth watering, which pales in comparison to the sweetness that starts to form between Lou and King. As they unpack some of the bad blood between them, it opens up opportunities for them to get to know each other more and explore some sweet feelings between them. Far and above, my favorite part of their relationship was the way that Lou has room to explore her ace spectrum identity and her own history and her family's history with sexual abuse while still being really supported. I don't wanna to say too much else about the plot because I want you to read it and I don't wanna spoil it for you, but I'll say that this is a story that I've been thinking about ever since I read it. And I'm really excited to read Jen Ferguson's newest novel, which comes out this year. If you're looking for more book recommendations or just wanna say hi, get in touch with us because we'd love to hear from you. You can always DM us on Instagram, email us, or visit us in person at Field Teen Center. We're located at 1901 Vine Street on the ground floor of Parkway Central Library. And for the most up-to-date information about our hours and special events, be sure to check our website. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you find something great to read.